I hope you're not squeamish, darling, or prone to sentimental attachments, but luck has become a problem, one you'll have to solve. You want me to distract him? I want you to kill him, Siobhan. Shouldn't be so difficult. I mean, you played Lucky so brilliantly. You see, you'll need to arrange a simple yet tragic accident. No one will suspect you. I mean, and you'll become a, a beautiful, grieving girlfriend, I'm sure. Here I am, feeling so honoured to be dealing with the Balkan himself. Yes. But for a man who presents himself as a criminal genius, you're a little thick, aren't you? Now's not the best time to challenge me. That was no challenge, it's God's truth. Killing Lucky Spencer would be a fool's mistake. I just want to ask Brenda a few more questions. She already, she already told me and Jason everything. If Jerry Jacks really is the Balkan, and it looks like he is, then he's a lot more dangerous than we thought. This guy has hurt a lot of people that I care about. And if Brenda's withholding information that could help you us catch him... You what this guy's done to her. He tried to ruin her life. He tried to disfigure her. He kidnapped her. He, he gave her an overdose of heroin, for crying out loud. Okay, so if, if they could get that close, why didn't they just kill her then, you know? Look, what if this isn't just about revenge for Alexander's death? What if there's something that Brenda isn't telling us? Now you're treating her like a suspect. All I'm saying is that somebody objective needs to question her, which, based on how you're acting, that's not you. You stayed under the radar all this time. But if Lucky Spencer turns up dead, especially in this town where everyone knows his name, Lucky's connected to some very powerful people. They'll come after you. But I won't be killing Lucky. You will. I'm taking out a cop who's been handpicked by Interpol. Oh. It'll attract all kinds of attention. But Interpol couldn't care less about Lucky, okay? Keep trying, darling. Because, you know what? This, this is really fun. If anything happens to Lucky, I'll lose access to my information. I won't be able to give you anything else. I have all the information I need. Lucky's no threat to you. He could care less about the Balkan. You're just one more case to solve. But Jason Morgan hates you like God hates sin. He's the one you want to kill. Yes, yes, I know that Jason wants me dead. The feeling's mutual, actually, but... This has nothing to do with you and Lucky. You know what I think? I think that you've fallen in love with your mark. And from bitter experience, that's a terrible blunder. Very fatal. So I'll be back with new instructions and you're gonna follow them. As you always do. Okay? Okay. Bye, darling. I'm not planning on... on putting Brenda under the hot lights in the interrogation room. I just want to clarify a few look, things. Look, you just need to drop this whole thing. She could know something that might help us find the Balkan. Isn't that what we all want? <sighs> look, Brenda and I are being sued for a wrongful death. What? By who? Yeah, the, uh, the family, the guy she shot in the alleyway, a a Anton Banovic. This is the last thing she needs. So you're afraid that if she has to take the stand, She'll crack and tell everyone that she killed the Balkan son. There's no way she survives that testimony. And, and not to be selfish, but I like my job. I want to hang on to my badge. I'm just saying, there's no point in questioning Brenda anymore. She's already told us everything she knows. You didn't have to do all that. Oh, talking to Fiona made me homesick. I'm going to make a family recipe for dinner, and I wanted to surprise you as well. Thanks. You know, uh, maybe we can arrange for sister to visit or something? Uh, I'm not that homesick. No. <laughs> anyway, I was looking forward to spending the evening with you, unless you have to work. No. <laughs> Is everything all right? Yeah, it's nothing. It's just Dante. He's gotten so protective over Brenda, it's starting to cause a strain in the investigation. Do you know why? I mean, obviously they have a history together. I just don't know how deep it runs. Granted, Dante's a little old school when it comes to protecting women, but even beyond all that, it just he seems too infested. Oh, excuse me. That's fine. Grab the stuff. Fiona, hey, you're turning into a regular nag come all hours of the day and night, and I'm trying to get dinner on the table. Meet me at the pier in half an hour. Bring Lucky. Hey. So, 
Um, is Siobhan here? No, she's, uh, she's out getting ingredients to make some Irish stew. Oh. Yeah. She's homesick, misses her sister, holidays are coming up and all. You know how it is. I kind of understand it because sometimes I crave the cheese fries from Dad's old club. Yes, that's a good point. Mm -hmm. um, I, I actually got this with a bunch of samples and I thought maybe Siobhan might like it. Oh, thanks. Yeah, well, she should be back before long. <laughs> so she's spending quite a bit of time here. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, she doesn't live here. Technically, she has a, a room at Kelly's. Well, technically, I live with Maxie, but I don't spend much time there. Speaking of you and Dante, you guys uh, been together quite a while. It's getting pretty serious, yeah? Yeah, it's a good thing. Yeah, I mean, Dante's my partner. I trust him with my life, and I believe that he loves you. But... I'm not the right guy to talk to about relationships, Lulu, you know that. I honestly hope that you and Dante beat the odds and make it for the long haul. Hello? Mr. Spencer. Uh, my name is Fiona Shaw. Do you know my sister Siobhan? Oh, hi. Yeah, she's, uh, she's out and about, but she should be back pretty soon. Oh, thank God she gave me this number. Did you try her cell? Oh, Siobhan's cell phone's been disconnected for weeks. Uh, no. No, it hasn't. Oh, then she hasn't bothered giving me the proper number. Wait, you don't have Siobhan's cell phone number? When, when was the last time you spoke to her? It's been at least a month. What's up, cowboy? I think I need another reality check. Okay, details? Now, something's going on, and... For whatever reason, I'm completely blind to it once again. I'm listening. I just found out that Siobhan's been lying to me for weeks. Where's McKenna? Be sneaking up on me. So where's our Bonnie Lucky? He's working on a case. Couldn't very well ask him to come down to the dogs to meet with the Balkan, could I? Well, if you don't bring me what I need, you have no use to me. I mean, you're lovely, but useless. Kind of like a trinket that I can throw away. Oh, if you'll excuse me. I'm a little busy at the moment. So I understand. Why are you disrespecting the girl? Because she didn't do what she was told. I hired Ms. McKenna for an important reason that did not include a secret rendezvous where you could threaten her at your convenience, Mr. Jags. Listen, you're the Balkan, hidden somewhere else. No one's shooting at you. You don't Balkan? have the entire town hunting you. You're not the Balkan? No, I'm not. You see, my employer's very shy, darling. Like you and me. I've never seen his face. Maybe I should remedy that, Mr. Jags. Maybe it's time for you to better understand who I am and what I want. <laughs> 